Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Since we haven't had a chit chat video in a while, I thought it's about time we sit down and chit chat about different topics like art, life, and get to know each other a little bit better. Don't forget to make sure that your notifications are turned on by clicking on the bell and by adjusting the settings. And for a chance to get a shout out and to win arts and craft supplies in my ongoing giveaway, comment down below hashtag notification squad in the first 24 hours. All right, so the first question is by Color Next Draws. What can you advise new artists to keep themselves productive and at the same time taking care of their mind and body? I struggle a lot with this part. It seems like I just draw and draw and actually failing to take care of myself. Honestly, I struggle with that as well because especially when it comes to YouTube, I upload twice a week and that's so much work. I constantly plan, film, edit and I feel like the days goes by and I haven't done anything else but filming and editing. So sometimes I have to remind myself to take care of myself, to make time to relax and when I schedule the time, I know this is my reward for my hard work and then I will relax and treat this as a treat, as a reward for all the hard work. And I won't feel guilty about not doing anything productive because I know this is important and I know I have to take it seriously and I have to relax. The next question is by Silver Evie. Where did you learn your artistic techniques and such? Was it classes, lessons or experience over time or something else? Love all your videos and the art designs you create. Your style is so pretty and I wish I could be as talented and gifted in art as you are. Thank you so much. Um, I am pretty much a self-taught artist. I had classes in my school, I had A-levels in art, I had a few classes in university about art. but. I never like studied art and painting in a university. I did this at home and I watched lots of tutorials. I watched lots of artists paint and see what techniques they use. But most of the times I actually just experiment. For example, for the watercolor techniques, I knew that there are these and these techniques, but how can I incorporate them into my art piece? And I experiment and experiment and see what works, what looks good, and then I just continue working on it. I think the most important thing I realize is that it's important to just experiment and to see what works, what doesn't, and then you can go from there and learn new things, learn new techniques, and even discover something totally new for yourself. And that's the most exciting part, not just copying and copying other people, but just really trying it on your own and experimenting until you find something super fun that you discovered yourself. Next question is by z 99 Khan. Are you a self-taught artist? What inspired you to start Original Thursday? As I said, I'm a self-taught artist and I started with Original Thursday because my channel used to be more like a DIY channel and I only had a few painting videos here and there and I really realized how stress relieving painting was and I wanted to really make time to paint and create something. So I decided let's start a series where I can be creative every single week that you guys can paint along and come back every week and watch my videos. And this is basically why I started it. I just wanted to make time to paint. The next question is by Banuja. 492. Did you find art hard when you first started it? Um, I think I never thought about if art is hard or if I struggle with it. I was always just focusing on creating and painting and drawing and I was always kind of happy about what I created because I never compared myself. I don't know why that happened but I just really like to play and experiment and through that I actually got better because I just focused on yeah, experimenting and finding out what I can improve on, what works, what doesn't and just allowing myself to feel and experiment and just get better. Next question is by HeyGen419. What are the most important things you've learned about yourself since starting your channel? This is actually a good question. I started my YouTube channel like years ago. I was still in school and I felt like I'm such an outsider in school. No one wants to listen to my ideas. And as you might know, when you're in school, people are already like judge you. They already made their own, like they have prejudice against you and they know, ah, oh, yeah, it's her. And you are like in this box. And I felt like YouTube is such a great way where I can just upload videos, share my ideas, and no one knows who I am, so I could just 
focused on creating and sharing my ideas. And after a few years and having such a great community around my YouTube channel, watching my videos every single week, I realized that it doesn't matter that there are people who don't like me, who don't like what I do or have other problems with me, I don't know what problems, because there are so many more people out there who actually like what I do, like me for the way I am without me changing or trying to impress someone. I can be just myself and they accept that. And now I'm super happy because it helped me to become a better person, it helped me to grow, it helped me to get out of my comfort zone more often and I met so many amazing people. I created so many amazing opportunities for myself and all these people who didn't want to be friends with me or judge me for whatever reason, thank you for helping me becoming a better person, but yeah, you don't get to witness that. <laughs> the next question is by Spam Spam V. Have you ever got bored with art activities or gave up on some projects? If yes, how can you get through it? By the way, I love your content so, so much. Maybe I am addicted. <laughs> Um, I actually get bored with art sometimes, even though I actually like, I like creating art, but sometimes I'm not feeling like painting with watercolors. I don't feel like painting with acrylic paint and I'm like, well, I need to upload a video next week, but I, I don't feel like painting with watercolors. What should I do? So usually when it happens, the only thing that helps me is to try a new medium. Like I got watercolor pencils, I got gouache and the first time I tried, I was like, oh my God, why haven't I tested it out years ago? It's so amazing. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I got super excited. I had so much fun painting with it and I can wait to paint even more with that. So I would recommend if you feel unmotivated or just uninspired, try to do something completely else, like try to do digital art or try out something else that you haven't done yet, like oil paintings, pastels doodling or acrylic paint or I don't know, something else that you have never even thought about trying out because it will spark your creativity. It will make you so excited and yeah, just do something else. I got tons of questions about what art supplies I'm using, what inspires me and how I deal with art blogs. And all these questions I covered in other videos that I will link in the description box below so you can check them out. I also want to say thank you so much to everyone who's watching my videos. Thank you so much for all your sweet comments and your support. It really means a lot to me. And I really hope these videos like Q and A's and my random thoughts of wisdom and the videos that I sprinkle in a little bit from time to time can help you in life because you're not alone with anything you're going through. There are so many people who have the same problems, the same issues. And whenever I can, I'm here to help you out. Don't let the opinions of others put you down. Don't let anyone dictate what you should or shouldn't do in life because at the end of the day, you need to be your own best friend and look after yourself and do what makes you happy. And everything else is figure outable. A huge shout out to Hoor Hanif. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to support this channel and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to get notified when i upload a new video on thursdays and on saturdays thank you so much for watching guys have a wonderful day and i will see you soon bye